Hi there folks. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to take apart and service an Abu Garcia Ambassador 10,000i Baitcaster reel. Now this video, uh, I was inspired to do this video because uh, I actually just learned how to take this reel apart today. <clears throat> Excuse me. The hard way. And uh, I can tell you <clears throat> I would have been really happy uh, if I would have had a video uh, showing me exactly how to take this reel apart. So I had to figure some things out. So uh, the reel is, this reel is actually already serviced, so I'm not going to actually go through greasing it and oiling it, but I will show you the points that I uh, greased and I oiled. And uh, so here we go. I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, but I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, so here's what you're going to need. Uh, I know that the camera is pointing pretty much perfectly right here so this is where I'm going to try to do most of the uh, disassembling and everything else so let's see so you guys can see what I'm doing um, so you're going to need a screwdriver and you're going to need uh, I recommend some sort of a a pick uh, this is really only going to be used for a retaining clip which I'll show you and then I have another uh, flat uh, tool which is also a great help with taking off the clip so First things first, uh, let's just, so you can see this is the Big Game Ambassador, okay, and it is the Abu Garcia, and it's the 10,000i model. Uh, so this is getting more hard to find this reel, you definitely can't buy this anymore, and then you're lucky to really even find it on eBay, I don't see them showing up there anymore. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take this piece off right here. It doesn't have to be the first thing you do, but this is the first thing we're going to do. As you can see, there's like a little uh, a little piece right there with a the little screw. See that little screw right there and this, and this little piece that goes underneath this nut? Uh, all that's purpose is is to keep the nut from coming loose when you're fishing. So uh, you can take this off. We can take this off first. So... So if this is your first time servicing your uh, any kind of fishing reel, uh, just remember, take your time, be patient, don't panic, and never force anything. And if you feel like you're uh, getting uh, you know, frustrated or whatever, just take a little break. Now this piece right here, this nut, just takes a 7 16th socket, which I have right here. And I have that tightened down, uh, hand tight. off it comes. Now off comes your your handle. And uh, I'll be Oh, sorry. I forgot the retaining the retaining clips right there. So, we're going to get to that. So, basically what I do is I take this um, piece right here and I wedge it underneath this clip. And then once I have this wedged underneath here, that sort of keeps it from spinning while I push it off of the pin. Okay, now because of the uh, fact that I'm doing a video and I'm trying to get it done in 10 minutes, I'm not going to try to do it from this angle because it's really hard. But basically this is how I'm using my tools. I just stick this piece underneath there to keep it still. And then when I have this piece uh, under here keeping it still, I then take this and I try to just shove it off. Uh, and how I do it is I actually put this piece right here up against my chest uh, and I hold it to hold it in place while I operate while I operate this tool to push it off. So let me do that really quick. Quick as I can anyway. Oh boy, it just went flying. Well, that's going to be a problem later, because now that piece just went flying. So then off comes this. Be careful, there is a washer underneath here. Okay, don't lose that. There's also a, a washer like this. Don't lose that. And then uh, you have the next step. We're going to pause right here. I'll be right back, because i got to go see where that piece flew. Thank you. 
Okay, back. So, yeah, that was fun. The uh, piece uh, by a miracle, I found it pretty quickly. So, uh, anyway, the next thing I will do is uh, just remove the drag star. Now, when you get this off, and you do uh, have to take it off, you can just set that off to the side. There's a washers underneath here, okay? There's about three washers, so uh, I don't think they go in any particular order, and they uh, really can just stay in there, because all we're doing is servicing the reel. You're going to get to see the insides of it. Uh, but we're not, we, we could take this reel apart a lot further than I'm going to take it apart, but uh, they're really only, uh, there's really only a need to take it apart as far as I'm showing you to service it. Uh, and this type of reel will last forever as long as you service it. Okay, so that's off. Uh, this piece can come off. No washers or anything there. Again, no washers or anything behind this. There's just three washers. They sit right down in here, and you can leave those there. The next thing we're going to do is take these two these two out. Now, these two screws have a very tiny little plastic washer, uh, so you don't want to lose those. And there's that one right there. So we're going to keep these together. Now the first time I did this, um, I did have a little panic because I set some. I was, I thought I had it memorized how I took it apart, and I soon discovered that I had forgot. But uh, that's what this video is for. So hopefully, uh, if you ever get in this situation where you're uh, servicing one of these uh, great reels, you can refer to this video. All right. So now the next three are going to be this one, this one, and this one. Mine are finger tight. You might need. A screwdriver um, but they only need to be finger tight yeah this one's a little hard so it might be a little hard on yours but uh, this is a little tough this one right here now once these are loosened they don't come out so uh, they just kind of dangle here they're built right in and once you get those you can take the entire, whoops, there's those washers I was talking about. There's three of them, see? Don't worry, don't panic if you hear something fall out. It's just these three washers. They go right in here on the top, no big deal. And then there is the guts of the reel. Now, I did have a problem when I was putting this back together because I had uh, this mechanism right here was giving me some trouble. This mechanism right here, as you can see, well, let's take this out first. Let's take this off first before I get into that. Okay, so uh, not too much to worry about here. So this came off. You saw me just pull that off. Nothing falls out. Now, the same thing with this. I'll cover this really quick and then we'll focus on this because there's really not much to this. So this is the spool, easily comes right out. I, I put a little grease right here. This is just a little plastic gear. I put some grease right there. Let me just check to make sure we're still rolling here. We are. Yep, little grease right there. This can be set off to the side. If you look inside here, you'll see uh, this is again just plastic. Ooh, wait, just noticed something there. Didn't see that before. Okay, there is. Okay, this is, hmm, okay. I put some grease right in here. This is a plastic gear, and there is a very little tiny washer in here. It's like plastic, and it's really tiny. I didn't notice it before, um, but it goes over top of this so they can just stay that can just stay right there. That is totally fine, and it's just gonna be right there. Okay, so aside from that, a little, I'll put a little bit of grease in here, 
and you're good to go with this whole piece. If you have some, you know, like literally like a little rag or something like that, like any kind of like little gun uh, rag or something, you can go in there and wipe the old grease out and put the new grease in. I just use um, pen real grease. As far as oil, uh, the only place I really used oil was on this little guy right here because it's got thread threads, so that was really helpful. That's the only place I really used oil. Now, let's take a look at this because this is... This can become a headache. You see this little piece right here? This little guy right here. Okay, I'm gonna take take the gear off. Now, this is why a video would be helpful. Okay, the, first of all, there's this piece. Okay, it comes off of there. Um, set that off to the side. This gear comes off. It, it There's all different, like, washers and stuff in here. You don't have to take out is you're just taking this thing to yeah so this little guy right here be careful how you just notice how this goes back on there okay you can see that he goes back on just exactly this way the way I just showed you and matter of fact I got it on the wrong piece already I'm already confusing you guys this yeah this little guy right here goes on this one this little this one right here slides right over top of there that's just where he goes I put a little grease on him and I didn't do anything I didn't remove this it wasn't necessary I just greased this gear right here I oiled this and I greased these teeth on this gear and that's it this gear has more pieces in it they do come out see but I just keep all that together. That can all just stay in there. Because there's several pieces. See the order that they came out? In case yours fall out for any reason. And then this piece right here has got two little nipples on it. Okay. They go back in. That goes back in. That goes back in. No need to take all that apart. But in case it does fall apart, that's what it looks like. And you can just put this right back on here. Oh. Okay. Right back down. Now, this gear right here has play in it because it's part of this mechanism. This mechanism, see how this mechanism comes in and out? Okay. That mechanism is controlled by this lever okay so when you put this back on here this make sure that this lever is operating this mechanism okay otherwise you'll put your whole reel back together and if this isn't uh, working right then you're gonna have to take it apart again so like I did so here we go we're all disassembled and now we're gonna go back together uh, real quick uh, one thing I did uh, when I was taking this apart this piece right here came off I'm not sure if it goes on this way or this way, but I don't think it matters because the wheel was working just fine. And I just put it so there's a, a – and this side is kind of a – it's shaped like the top of this thing on this side. But on this side, it's smooth. Um, I tried it both ways to see like which felt better. It kind of feels better putting it down uh, the smooth side first. But I don't think it matters. I, it just goes on the same way. It doesn't change shape on the outside. So I'm just putting it down with the... Um, yeah, I'll put it down this end first. You see how this end has like the little... Um, it's shaped more toward like to like this. But on this end it's not. So I'm just going to put it down... Oh, what the heck? Just put it down this way. So here we go. Let's start getting this back together so this video doesn't run too long. All right. So there's my mechanism. I'm going to have to be quiet here so for a little while so I can concentrate. Make sure that everything's going together right. Okay. Now, let's see here. So you will have to correspond this lever with the way this mechanism is, and I'm not sure which way but that's okay based with the videos for I'm gonna let's see make sure that that mechanism 
there. Okay, so when I pull it back this way, the mechanism's pushed in. Ugh. Okay. I think, uh, you see when the mechanism got pushed in, it pushed the gear up and it took this piece off. So I want this piece set back down. But these were some of the difficulties I had uh, putting this together. So there, that piece, little piece right there, set back down. Oh, spring came off. Okay, yeah, no, again, uh, you know. Okay, so let's set this piece back on here and see what happens. Okay. This is really the hardest part. Once you get this back on and you get it functioning properly, you're home free. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah, that's not right. So let's pull this out. So we'll pull the mechanism out and we'll try to set it in. Okay, now. Okay, now I think the mechanism's working. I can feel it working right. So when you so it's when you pull the lever back toward the Abu Garcia logo, you can see the mechanism is in. Okay. When you push it toward the 10,000 I logo, you can see the mechanism is out. So I know it's working. So I'm going to put it down one more time. All right, so we're good there. So next I'm gonna put uh, our two little screws back in here to hold this whole thing together. My screwdriver. Well, you know, one thing I want to check before I go, before I go all the way and put this back together, because it's going to go back together pretty fast. I want to pull this off one more time because I want to see, uh, where are we at here? Oh, look at that. I pulled the whole, the whole thing off. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to check. Where did that piece go? There it is. Okay. That's what I wanted to check. Make sure that piece. Okay, it is good to go now. Sorry if the video is getting a little boring. I don't mean, any more boring than it's already been. But if you're really interested in servicing this reel and seeing how it comes apart, um, I can tell you I'd have been glued to a 10, 15 minute video on this because I was, had a couple places, you know, where I was starting to panic because I had forgotten how I took it apart and uh, I had gotten it back together and then it was uh, not, doing what it was supposed to do so I had to take it all the way again apart again all right so those are are now hand tight okay so eh, what do we put the, what do we put on there next I guess since we have those on we can throw this on real quick and also um, if you look at the bottom here you see in here this is like a it's like slotted um, that goes on to here, of course, and there's two little 
nipples sticking out there that have to get into those slots. So, um, yeah, that's that looks good. Okay, but what we're gonna do is actually put this in here. Now this doesn't go on any old, any old particular way. It just is seat. You just seat it. It seats really easy. Oh yeah, and fishing line getting caught. It's, it's a plus for you if you don't have to put this together with fishing line on. But there, so that's seated there. Now you can see there are one, two, three, four, and then this. Okay, let me tell you how these correspond. Okay, you see right here, you see that little hole right there. Okay, that little hole belongs to this one to this little stud right here this one doesn't have any threads on it it just goes in that hole so that's how you put this on correctly is okay as you just line that up and then look at that real easy all together now you can tighten these down uh, I think finger tight is fine okay like here's this one goes in a little hard for me but going in just fine Okay, and this one. All right, now we're ready to uh, get everything back to guess goes on next. So when you spin this down, you'll get to a point where it'll, it'll start to just turn and it won't turn anymore. So you gotta kind of hold the edge of it and turn it. It kind of hurts my fingers a little bit, so a pair of pliers would be helpful here. That's why I put a little oil on there, because um, you're going to be using this a lot. This is your your star drag, so a little oil on these threads uh, can never be too much. That goes there, and this goes here. And then the clip. Okay, then the nut. Then the nut stopper stops her from falling off. And that's it, all back together. How it was meant to be. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope it uh, helps. Uh, we got it all back together here. I'm just pulling some line out and we're gonna just give it a little test here. Uh, it does uh, reel back up nice. Okay, clicker works as it should. The drag works as I tighten down the drag. I can't hardly pull it out here, uh, but I can reel it up and it's really nice and buttery smooth the way it should be. So uh, yeah, there it is. Yep, that mechanism's working as it should. And uh, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you guys uh, enjoy uh, the video. If you like, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, that's even better. Thank you very much, and peace.